but not <laughs> all I know is this. And don't worry, uh, I just started it. So, somebody out there right now is filling out a resume. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm talking, they better hope that, like, moon landing is on their CV before they see a job anywhere near broadcasting again. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, meanwhile. <laughs> Back at the base. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with Graham. Graham, okay. As, as, all right. Let, let me give it, let me set the scene briefly. <clears throat> if, if, you know, if you don't know about this, you're somewhere, you know, with your head stuck up with Slothene's butt. Oh, trying, God. <laughs> trying to serenade your sidewalk girlfriend with a banjo. Okay. Um, but yeah, five episode scripts got leaked right onto the net. Um, and I, I wasn't even going to broadcast it. I figured, okay, maybe, you know, the BBC had already started. BBC had already started. And I figured, okay, you know, so, you know maybe, maybe they can do it. And sure enough, yeah, somebody ran around Twitter last night blathering it everywhere. Now it's all over the headlines. Let's start with Graham. Graham, what do you think about Leakgate? At least that's what they're calling it on Twitter. Leakgate. Yeah, leak well, what, what, what you say, gentlemen, uh, somebody's out of a job this evening. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, when, when something gets leaked for a corporation, as I said off air, it is either somebody putting their ass on the line through threat of their job to leak this stuff out, or it is a mole trying to buck the system. It isn't some dumbass in the admin department who has a simple duty to basically send it to the subtitle for conversion and and goes, oh, by the way, I forgot to check a certain website was public. Yeah, what a freaking nimrod. Sure, it's like what happened last year when we Americans got the box set early before the name of a doctor was aired. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's almost as bad as Walking yeah. Dead um, when they oh, yeah. had some idiot from the publicity department leak out the actual cover for the upcoming DVD of that season release. And the uh, big arc of the season was, is this you know, Shane going to die? And sure enough, right there on the back of the thing, in capital letters, Shane's final episode. Uh, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's gotten crazy. You know, are we just victims of our age or, you know, you know, the age we live in or, you know, is it no, just plain incompetence? The, the, the ironic, sorry guys, the, 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 the ironic thing is, Brian, up until last night, we were giving these guys high praise. Nothing was getting out. It was tighter than a mermaid's freaking puss. And sure enough, <laughs> Jesus, man, it just imploded in their face this morning. I know. Well, security was more watertight than a frog's ass soaked in little crazy glue. I'm uh, not kidding. It was. I, I, I was getting nothing. I, I was telling everyone pr look, proudly, look, I'm getting nothing. Except yeah. little tidbits, you know, maybe a title and a little bit of something here and there. And now all of a sudden, bam, five <laughs> <laughs> oh, Like, um, I, I miss... All right, let's, all right, let's start with Philip, and then we'll go to... Um, uh, I, still, I still think it's a, a massive ploy to get people interested in the new series, because I, I, I can understand one le one script being leaked, but all five, it just it, 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 it doesn't it doesn't bear thinking about it. It's like, if they know they leaked one, why are they leaking all five? Uh, okay, Fez, you want to jump in with something? Oh, yeah. Um, sorry, just a sec. When uh, you were saying about, was it the gatekeeper in the series finale being the master is that probably likely to be true or can you not say it okay so far from what i've seen no it's turning out it's probably going to be a rumor yeah but you never know like i said this is the moth her name just happens to be missy which yeah. by the way someone even asked today in the comment mm. box could that be short for mistress true mm. uh, oh yeah Ooh. i still can't see it though i know she no, I'm sorry, but if the doctor comes up against the mistress, I expect to see, you know, that, you know, Michelle Gomez come hopping out in, like, you know, thigh-high mm. leather boots, um, <laughs> studded <laughs> collar, and whipping oh, oh. Guys, can I just say, it's, it, it's Capaldi's first season. I don't know if I could, if I could handle 50 shades of uh, Capaldi, you know, so. Oh. What's, uh, <laughs> 50 shades of Capaldi. 50 shades of Capaldi. Uh. Okay, I, I'm going to leave this forum completely open, so if anyone wants to jump in with anything, go ahead. 
Shall we hand it to you? Okay, go ahead, Harry. You look like you're about to say something. All, right. All I can say is whoever did this should be A, dipped in tar, B, <laughs> C, thrown out on the streets, D, drawn and cornered. It's, it's disgusting just doing this. It ruins the whole thing for fans. I know. It's like, my goodness. It's like, oh, man. But you see, it could have been a lot worse. But you know I, what? Because you know what? I, all right, when I looked at the um, cash page, which, by the way, I will openly state, was put up by Ryan Farrell on Twitter, a.k.a. Time Boy. Yep, there was true. a list of MP4 files with the same titles right next to the script things, yep. which means, you know, I don't know if that was just clips because they didn't have the links per, you know, file. <laughs> But what if the moron had went ahead and also uh, linked the first five episodes with him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that would have been bad. I was going to say, um, considering some, not a lot of people will God, be able to that see, was sample filth. With a lot of people, with, with a lot of people not be, won't be able, be able to see the uh, the premiere, right? Maybe this is some sort of comp compensation for people that can't make the premiere, hey, and at least cool. they have the scripts. Yeah, I think that I, I agree with Graham though. There, I think it. I think they were just sample files. Yeah, they were like they trailers. Can, they imagine, yeah, imagine if the moron had put the damn episodes on there too. You know, talk uh, about major scandal. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Can I just say something? But uh, comment on Philip's comment. Then oh. I don't think that they should post five scripts up. I don't mind if they're going to post all thirteen episode names, but if they post five scripts, you know that's going to be that's that's a down that's really not good no, at all. Danny, the problem was it was a third party website in order for the scripts to be subtitled for, for foreign languages. What the what the imbecile didn't they know was was that the website was publicly the private. Exactly. Yeah, but I I know, I know. But like I, I, I wouldn't have minded if I wouldn't have minded if everybody had gone holy shit, this is all thirteen episode names, not just the scripts. No but like, the, screw No, but they've got to hand over the scripts for conversion. I know, but they could do it some other way, like email or something, couldn't they? Yeah. We, all right. Well, one thing we do know now is that Frank Control Boyce, Broyce, is his a Boyce or Broyce? Broyce. Oh. Yeah, he is writing episode 10. That was the only yeah. one he had no idea, you know, who was writing it or anything like that. So that's that's now been confirmed, according to a couple of websites. <laughs> well, at least that kind of be fucking leaked. Yeah. But <laughs> my God, man, I, I still can't believe this, but I look at it this way. I'm still looking forward to seeing them actually perform. Uh, as Graham brought up before we started, oh, Charlie's. it's basically like Game of Thrones, where, you know, if you've read the book, you have a general idea of what's going to happen, but until you see it actually acted out by on screen, it's a whole different experience. Exactly, exactly. Okay, anyone else want to chime in? Now, yeah, you've been pretty quiet, Dr. at 50. Go ahead and let us know what you think about it. Are you with us yet? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, hey, Kelly. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I did some, you know, I did some looking into this when I heard about it this morning. And apparently, I don't know if you guys can confirm it, it came from a new site that they, the BBC just made in uh, Miami for their Latin American division. No. Also, it was immediately put onto a toy, uh, onto a torrent site, which I won't name here, and that's where the major leak happened as well. Uh, right. Oh, and, uh, okay. I, I'm assuming that was just scripts, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, just the scripts. Yeah, that's okay. Luckily, right, yeah, yeah, luckily okay. the schools didn't get out. Mm. But um, I'm not sure how big the samples yeah. were. But mm. all right, go ahead, go ahead, Fifty. I'm yeah. sorry. You had something more to say? Well, no, but um, yeah, the, apparently the, whatever they did with through that site. Their IT department didn't put in the proper um, safeguards to their site because when you could go in to search their site, apparently, you were able to download whatever was on their site. So they had uh, scripts for Call the Midwife and the, um, some other shows there. Um, what's the new one there? Uh, the Capaldi just left. Uh, oh, Musketeers. Musketeers. The Musketeers, the, all that stuff was on there too, and they that was downloaded from their site. Uh, there were some other shows, so it wasn't just Doctor Who. It was all uh, everything that the BBC had uploaded. Apparently, it's a it's a server. Whatever was on there was downloaded. Wow. 
as, as, as interesting as that is, Charlie, who gives a fuck? We're not interested in Doctor Who. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm not, I'm not going to harp on anybody for language with this one because this is like yeah. plastic cluster bombs. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, I can just imagine what Moffat's like at the minute. Uh, uh, Nightwing, hey, he just put Moffitt. up a link. Uh, Moffat yeah. came out and made a statement. All right. Yeah. Well, you might read guys, it, right? it won't be Moffat's fault. It'll be the guys who would send yeah. in the... Uh, no, we know what that. But no, no, I, I was just interested what he had to say about it. it no, no, no. It's, it's not the... like. It's not. It's more based on the 50th, you know, when people are spoiling things for the 50th. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, you know, but we kind of get the idea stop with the spoilers, people. We don't want to know this. You see, well, that, that's why when I do videos and I know there's going to be something and it could even be the slightest bit of a hint at something, I always put a warning on there. That way, and you know, viewer discretion is advised. Yeah. That way, boom, let the buyer beware. Whoever watches uh, it, it's on yeah. your head. You yeah. know, that way, you know, I, I give the public a warning, so that way, you know, not to watch it, you know, if you don't want to be spoiled. <laughs> and a lot of sites don't even do that anymore. They don't even give you that courtesy. No. Well, Dr. Who TV does. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on a second. Um, go on ahead, guys. I'm, I'm, I think someone might. Uh, all right, I'm going to add someone else in here. All right. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. I can only it's guess. It's Alex. This. It's Alex. Yay! Alex. Alex? The podcast. You yeah. must the podcast. Uh, Alex. Alex, yeah, we're not discussing what's actually in the scripts. We're just mm-hmm. discussing the whole quote unquote leak gate scandal itself. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts on it? Oh, are we all video recording? Yeah. Yeah. We're already yeah. recording. We've been wow. recording for a few minutes. Oh, right. Okay. Um, it reminds me of what happened uh, last year, really, with the whole um, box, uh, you know, the, the, the other kind of leak gate. So, oh, the box sets are out early, so it could be online somewhere. And you won, because I was suspicious if that was about publicity or something. This, I don't know if it is to drum up publicity. Um, I'd say be cautious if you can't quite stay away from the, because I remember last year, I said, right, I'm not going to log into Facebook. I'm not going to do... But they're pretty addictive things, as we all know. Um, yeah. but be careful what forums you go to. Be careful what you click on. Um, you know, um, but um, to be honest, I mean, someone would have to be really trying to make me know something because I'm not going to be tempted to, like, find and read a script. Somebody's going to have to be really, oh, that happens in scene four. Um, I know, I'll, I'll make sure as many people know this, which will just be malicious. It's just a question of don't go on the forums, be careful. All right. yeah. I'm, no, I'm not going to spoil on the finale, but I'm going to try and entice you. Capaldi's first word is shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, uh, like I said, though, th- this is crazy. I-, I just can't believe this happened, but... At the same time, you know, like I said, look at the age we live in. Nothing is safe. The only reason I found out about it is because I have my fingers in a lot of pies. I have tendrils everywhere. In Careful that. how you phrase that, Brian. Pies. I, I'm just going to openly say it because I've already got a crosshair on my back the size of the city of Cleveland. <laughs> it's worse than my Buzz Lightyear joke. Yeah. You know that. All right. Well, I, 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 will, I will say from what I've read, I'm not going to deny that I haven't read it, but what I've read, I have very high hopes for Capoda. What I've read, I'm, I'm liking what I'm reading so far about his doctor. So that's yeah. what I can say. Yeah. Like, I didn't want, when I was looking up him, I didn't want to read the full scripts. Like, I uh, just sort of want to see what it would be like. But, like, not to, I know I like that if I'm trying to spoil myself, but um, I just sort of wanted to have a look. Like, I, I didn't want to read it, like, uh, line by line. Um, <laughs> but, if they ever yeah. get skipped, if they ever get leaked again, I'm definitely not gonna. Uh, 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 try don't and talk about bullshit. Of course, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting. Oh, go ahead, Nightwing. I'm waiting. I'm not reading. Yeah, you see, it's it's for choice, you know. It's it, but I guess exactly, it's, exactly, it's a choice. Yeah. But I'm I'm just too nosy. I I got to know uh, everything. Well, the, the way I sort of saw it was like it's like. Uh, but books like if you read like Harry Potter or Game of Thrones, you oh know what's God. going to happen. But even with the it's there's a slight difference that the the chains for books were well even though the scripts do get changed sometimes. But um, 
Yeah, like I Bata, I sort of uh, thought it. Yeah, it's like, the same story also with The Walking Dead. If you were followers of the comics, you oh, knew yeah. a lot of stuff that was going to happen. But in the last couple of seasons, though, they have really wandered off that storyline in major ways. Yeah. So, but in this case, yeah, we have, they are genuine scripts. I've, I had that confirmed last night. I guess I wasn't even going to talk about it. I was going to see, okay, I got to sit back and see what happens. And, you know, I'm not going to be the one who comes out and says, okay, you know, because as you all seen, every time I so much as put a clip up, like I had a video from almost two years ago where I had a clip up from the Sun Makers, and suddenly, boom, they slapped boom. me with the copyright notice on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And it was plain and you know, plain clear as day fair use, and I had even stated it in the video description. I even gave credit where the video, the clip came from and why I was using it, and they still hit me for it. So, like I said, I'm walking around with a target on my back, and you know, like I said, I'm always checking the shadows for Cockney Ninjas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're off the uh, yeah. after... yeah, go on ahead, Fizz. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. oh you were saying they're after uh, Dr. Who, man? Um, I, like I said, I'm kind of worried, though. I was online with him last night, and suddenly uh, his connection dropped, and I haven't heard from him since. I, it's probably just an internet thing, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh. either, either that or he's paid a lot of visits during the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, also, yeah. this, was, this was before the, the news had hit anyway, so I was yeah. you safe. <laughs> if they have block- Here, um, next uh, Moffat will want to have like uh, uh, people checking on Skype so that the uh, spoilers won't get leaked anymore. Shut up, Fez man! He's going to be infiltrating us any minute, man. Here, by the way, it's ten minutes. It's ten minutes in the year, and it go. Jesus! <laughs> I'm just hoping he never finds out that um, actually, I secretly cloned Army Ted a long ago, and he's been feeding. Me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, Army Ted's his son, isn't he? Oh, yeah, don't! Uh, oh God! <laughs> you know what? It's like Transalor here. If the, if the FBI ever caught you, I'd be emigrating to Argentina. You'd crack like an almond, by the way. Why would you tater of all places? For a cattle ranch and beef. Oh, okay. If you want him back, I want an exact replica of Jenna Coleman dropped into my living room. Oh no! <laughs> Why the hell not? No. <laughs> Naked. Oh, sorry. Yeah, preferably. <laughs> Oops, sorry, my mind wandered there for it's, a second. It's like I watched uh, Captain Phillips uh, the other night. This, uh, this reminded me they could do like a uh, Ramson. Of, like, uh, did any of enemies watched it or know what it's about? Tom Hanks. It's especially not true story. Real yeah, I just thought like uh, you could like uh, do a negotiation. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we, now, here's the big question, though. Now, here's another example that I almost hate to use, but it, it is very valid. A uh, certain pop star that I know I would rather, you know, see get oh. hit, you know, hit by a large vehicle named, well, Lindsay Lohan. She was, oh, what, bitch. Oh. She was doing the spread for Playboy, and it got leaked out less than oh. a week before nice. it was actually due to print and go out on the stands. Who would want to look at Lindsay Lohan? Well, this was bad people. Well, yeah, they want to look at a very good photoshopped image of her meth ravaged body. Anywho, next. <laughs> um, the thing is, sales did plummet for that particular issue. Now, here's the big question. I'm going to go around and ask everybody. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this one to the regular format. Do you think this is honestly going to affect anything ratings wise, or you know how people watch the show? Let's start with Graham. Hell no. Hell no, no, because it's 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 Capaldi, man. No, hell no, because uh, if nothing else, once you've read something, if you enjoy something, you want to go and see how it's played out. Exactly. And you know, it's it's not it's not a case that oh Saturday night ratings are the final ratings anymore. So, okay, Nightwing. I agree with Graham. I totally agree with Graham. I'd rather say I was one of those people that have read the scripts. I would rather what I'd I'd, I'd um, watch the episodes acted out because maybe they might des- they might have <laughs> described some of the sets, but we don't actually know what they l- properly look like. Okay, unless you've been watching all those you know filming set reports, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. but even then, a lot of it's green screen. So yeah, but 
that's why I'd rather wait, and that's why I'm that's why I'd watch it, even though I if I had read the script. Okay, yeah. Doctor Who fifty. I I agree. I don't think it'll change much. I mean, how much of the actual Doctor Who watching public, you know, will be following Twitter and all that to actually get mm-hmm. spoiled? You know, I, I mean, it's going to be a small amount. Um, again, like he said, you know, it's like going in to watch a movie that you've already read the book for. You know, you know the outcome. You're gonna and you're still gonna go watch the movie. Well, I look at so it. This I, I, don't, I don't think it'll be fine. I can safely watch each season and tell you it's likely the doctor is not going to die at the end of one of the episodes. Mm-hmm. Or even if he does, he's going to regenerate. You know, it's like, <laughs> mm-hmm. like oh, okay, Alex. Um, I think it's all been said, really. I don't think leaks um, put people off. I think, if anything, they, as I said, generate publicity. Most people won't be interested in reading a script or, or, or knowing loads. Uh, some people, as people said before, that would be unaware of what's been going on. It's only internet geeks who know. Um, and um, Cheers, Alex. It doesn't make... <laughs> sorry. It doesn't make much of a difference. Oh, come on now. Um you know, um, you know, it doesn't make much of a difference if you already know stuff. And yeah, the number of times people read a book and then they go and see the movie. Um, so yeah, I uh, if the, the, there'll either be no drop at all, or it'll be so marginal and insignificant that it'll effectively be nothing. Okay, Philip. Philip, you still with us? Oh, no, oh, sorry, had, had, myself, had myself on mic on, on mute. My apologies. Okay. Um, um, when I read the transcripts of what I'm reading, it makes me more excited to go to see it as it is visually. So I don't think it will do, it will deter people from watching the actual um, premiere or the um, the TV no. sh- announcement showing. Oh, it, makes, think, it, it makes it makes it better, to be honest, for me. Mm-hmm. Okay, Harry. I don't think it's going to affect anything. I think people are still going to want to come in. We want to sit down, watch the show, kick back, and enjoy it. There are going to be those who will love to tease their friends about it. But I think for the majority of fans, it's simply going to be, we're just going to kick back, relax, watch, and enjoy. Okay. Fezman. <clears throat> yeah, I basically agree with most people. And it's like, uh, well, this is like news as well. So it's like uh, more people are going to be hearing about it. We're going to be like, oh, like, uh, what, what's this about and all, and like, um, uh, might get, try and get more people in the Doctor Who as well, I think. And it's also like, uh, I just remembered uh, a couple of weeks back, the Arrow pilot got leaked online as well. Uh, and um, I think I also got the people interested, like I watched, like, well, I didn't watch, I saw like some videos about it as well. So like, oh, uh, you get people... Oh, yeah. Did you mean? Did you mean the Flash? Um, you mean, you mean, oh yeah, I'm, yeah, the Flash. I'm, I'm, yeah, you meant the Flash. But I, I assume Girl yeah, Meets so. World would be a major thing first, but there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Also, wasn't uh, Eccleston's first episode Rose leaked online a few weeks before? Uh, the, uh, five days. Uh, uh, I, yeah. I thought the, uh, there was a disc from the preview that that were was. I actually did get a copy of that, but I only saw it one day before broadcast. Yeah, the screen uh-huh. Yeah. In in that that was actually quite odd because it wasn't quite finalised. There that some there was a little bit less kind of like background noise in the uh, exterior stuff, that, uh, less post production audio. The theme tune was the theme tune from the Tom Baker era, and there wasn't a preview of uh, next week, so it was okay. a little bit different. Sure What's kind of yeah, it's kind of good. Like, I wish like I'm glad that they don't do that with the episodes anymore each season. I think it was just because the, there was a new series, it was coming back. Mm. Yeah, because I know a lot of us are anxious because there's, you know, there's a, a matter of fact, there's already a group of people out there on Twitter now harping on Series 8 hardcore because they don't like blah, blah, blah what they saw in the script. I'm like, you got to be joking. I'm like... How can they say that? It's brilliant. It's bloody brilliant. And I'm like, come on, people. It's like you haven't seen it even acted out yet. All you've read are words on a page. You haven't exactly. seen yeah. it. You know, it's like reading Julius Caesar out of a textbook. Until you see a group of actors perform it, you really don't want to judge it. Mm. You know, and I, I don't know what they're bitching about because they've got five episodes. They've still got another six after this, man. Yeah. Jesus. It's like, uh, don't, don't touch a book on its cover. Mm. I'm not reading the cover. You mean, you mean contents? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Plus, also, yeah. we don't we don't even know if there were things that were ad lib that were thrown in, also, because that happens a lot in movies and TV, where there's yeah. stuff that's not in the script. Hmm. Uh, I wouldn't put it past Stephen Moffat to write five completely fake scripts and have them leaked. No, unfortunately, this is legit. The BBC have been running damage control since it happened. These are legit. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a press. Yeah, this isn't. Yeah, this isn't a test. <laughs> no, man. You, you can tell that that the legit with with the name scrolled across the the yeah. pages. So, yeah. Is, is he? It's interesting that the heading of the um, script for Deep Breath is marked as uh, nearly 80 minutes long. Yeah, but there were a few things. Mm -hmm. 75. We we knew that Deep Breath was 75, yeah. Okay, what was that? (laughs) I heard something slam. Oh, my God. I hope the cat's okay. Bez, you aren't dead, are you? No, no, but BBC, please, haven't got me yet. (laughs) (laughs) After <laughs> 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 strangling you, can you mute your mic? Thank yeah, you. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay, um, it, like I said, it'd be funny almost if by the end of the day we see a set of gallows being rolled out into Trafalgar Square. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and Moff- pick him up and let him rot, and let the birds pick on him. And Moffat's the executioner. Yeah, some poor IT guy is being you know, brought out in cuffs and, and manacles, and people are throwing fruit, and there's torches and pitchforks. And... <laughs> okay, well, one at a time here. Let's start with Philip. Do we all actually think that this was this was bound to happen anyway, even before premiere time, premiere night? Um, possibly one script, no five. Yeah, if mm. it had been one script, okay, I, it's a boo-boo. It, it happens. But five? My gosh, that's the first five episodes of the season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, seems, man. it just seems to be a common, a common thread these days with Doctor Who, that there's all sorts of things coming out so thick and fast. Yeah. It's like, security's crap. What they well, used to, sorry, right, what, go ahead, Alex. I was going to say, people have got wise to the way they go about things. Remember where the name Torchwood came from? It was when the the tapes were being couriered, so they had an anagram of Doctor Who for security, which presumably they changed once there was a series called Torchwood, because people would be sniffing around that too. Um, And that whole, I think when you do your first audition to be a companion, you don't know you're auditioning for Doctor Who, you think you're auditioning for something else. Yeah. Uh, Which which one of the, I think, was it either Karen Gillan or General Louis Coleman? let that go on i think it was graham norton i think she even said the name of the fake show you think you're auditioning for so they've had to change that i assume um yeah. you know when it's been going for one year two year two years you know um you can use these tricks that people aren't on to you eight years um and more heat than ever to you know to find the spoilers you know the press the fans the more obsessive fans who want the spoilers um you know, they've got wise to the ways of the BBC. Oh, yeah. Karen Gillan, when she auditioned to be a companion, they handed her a script, and the name on it was Panic Moon, which is an anagram of companion. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, okay. Oh, uh, that's quite cool. <laughs> and also, yeah, Doctor Who, when it was being filmed, yeah, went under the name Torchwood, which, would, of course, later, you know, they used it for the name of a series. And um, when they were filming uh, Return of the Jedi, they filmed it under the name Blue Harvest. And uh, um, we got... episode seven will be called Jar Jar. <laughs> what? But, but episode seven uh, title will be Jar Jar for filming. I'll be <laughs> freaking right. They get stuck Abrams up with an IT guy on the freaking gallows if that's the case. <laughs> Jar Jar beats must die, episode seven, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom and Meg. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting you bring up Star Wars because somebody put out quote unquote leaked footage earlier today. And it turns oh, yeah. out it was uh, it was really yeah. well done. I'll have to yeah. patch you the that, link. Is that the thing yeah. I just yeah. on your wall, Freedom? Yeah, I saw like, that. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty good. The guy was trying. It's right, you know, right here in the description of the video. You should have known this was fake because the guy was claiming he was on his way past the German airport and saw Tie Fighters and a scout ship fly over. Come on, I know, the <laughs> <laughs> I know they're getting realistic with the full size props, but they don't fly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but um, I think also, do you think it might have been the fact that we have a new doctor coming in and a whole new take on it 
that might have, you know, really got the fans up in arms to go out and look for this stuff? Let's start with Graham. I would say that maybe has a reason. That that's a very good bit of validation and reason behind it. But at the same time, had had Smith been doing a fourth year and these things leaked, I reckon people still would have read them anyway. Okay, Nightwing. Um, um, I I. I sort of think that that might be some of it, but like I think the main reason is them just being assholes and want to spoil Ooh. everything. No, no, no. You, you, you can't you, you can't lambast the general public like that, Danny. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Doctor Who Fifty. Yeah, there's always going to be people out there who want to spoil stuff for everybody. I mean, it's the kind of way it goes nowadays, unfortunately. That's, you know, where I'm standing at. But you think it might have been the fact that we've got, you know, Matt Smith had just left and, you know, Capaldi's coming in and everybody's really, really nervous. Yeah, I mean, so... Do you think that might have, like, really read, you know, led to this happening, you know, the big-time phenomenon? I think it's going to lead to more yeah. people wanting the information. Maybe not going out to look for it, but wanting the information. Mm. Okay, Alex? Um, what, what's, what's people's motive, you mean? Yeah, you think it might have been the fact we've got a new doctor coming in and, you know, Matt Smith leaving, a lot of the fans are dejected because of that. Do you think it might, you know, lead people to yeah. be a little more anxious about it? Yeah, I suppose it's a new doctor combined with a long gap. Uh, and also, I think because of all the stuff with the 50th, people are a bit addicted to this kind of thing now. Like, um, once the 50th was over, I think you get withdrawals from anticipation. Um and so it's like, uh, you know, it's like some some replacement drug from from last year, but um, but there's all, there's always going to be people. I don't think they want to spoil it for anybody else necessarily. I think it's selfish, but I don't think it's malicious. Okay, Philip, I think it's um, I think you know I think it, it's healthy for people to want to know how the new doctor's going to be, and if this if this is the way only way that they can get their uh, their mitts on. On, on, a, on the idea of it, then yeah, well, why not? And at the same time, it, it does give people an, an idea whether the, the, uh, Capaldi can pull it, pull it off or not, even if they haven't seen the actual finished product. Yeah, that, that, that can be a wee bit of a facade, though, Phil. I mean, it's all right saying, oh, g give me some type of safety measure by showing me at least that the story's solid. I still don't know how the guy's going to pull it out. True, uh, true. Mm. OK, Harry? I don't think it's going to cause much of anything. We're going to still have people who are going to be wanting to sink their teeth into anything and everything they can, but I don't think it's going to affect the show in any way. Okay, Fez? Yeah, I basically agree with most people, but I can know like what people said, or like with Art with 50, it's a long wait, and people have wanted to see like what's going to happen. Like like you said earlier, like in your videos, you put up a warning, but like it's not going to so I, sometimes I don't think it's too spoilery. Like, uh, even though we have leaked the scripts, this is probably the biggest thing they're probably going to do with leaking things uh, for the latest series, I say. Okay, Lady Gallifrey. What? You're standing here. I know you want to say something. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I gotta say is pull out the Kenan Bailey wanker spray because somebody's <laughs> butts in trouble. <laughs> 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 Can you Maybe see know my feelings on whoever leaked this material? I know. Imagine being that poor sap. Imagine yeah. what his day was like. Yeah. <laughs> let me, uh, gentlemen, <laughs> let, let, let me set the scene for you. Uh, scrotum, vice, twist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some, uh, some people like that kind of thing, you know. But uh, never mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, just be stupid. Just be lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had actual footage because I'd set it to that one song by the one band. Had a bad day. Had a bad day. Well, just be lucky that he only got five leaked and it wasn't the whole twelve. Exactly. Uh, Plus the fact that you know it could have been worse. We it could have been actual footage. It's yeah. true. Yeah. I wonder how many boot marks are on somebody's rear end right now. <laughs> Property of the moth. <laughs> I can see that. Know, there's, the there's, there's the moth. They're in a dark room, kind of like an animal house, you know, where everybody's wearing yeah. robes, and then you pull out the you know, the paddle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brian, I'm just in a scary. 
<laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another? Well, never mind that. Off interrogating them. Or could yeah, you no, ne- never mind them. Off interrogating them. What if Capaldi done it? Yeah. I got it. Malcolm Tucker interrogating them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, do you, hey, what do you mean five of my fucking episodes leaked? Off <laughs> <laughs> it. Yeah. Imagine no, if Capaldi goes Malcolm Tucker on somebody. Oh, man. Yeah, imagine if it was late, like uh, the Christian Bale on the Terminator set, where he uh, started shouting at the, uh, one of the um, cameramen. It was the director of photography, yeah. All right, yeah. I mean, would it be enough for Muffet to turn around and say, fuck this, I'm not going to be doing Doctor anymore, I'm leaving? No, 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 no. Uh, if, anything, if anything, it just makes no. You see, the problem is... Stuck here, right? It is literally way too late to back out now. The press conference has already, you know, the, the press tour has already been scheduled. The uh, premiere event for Cardiff has already been scheduled. Everything's already locked in. It's way too late to do anything about it now. Yeah. They're in the can, basically. They're fucked. So. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and in those terms, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're screwed. They, they, there's no way out of this. Yeah. You know, they are screwed, blue, tattooed. There's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> yeah, major, time, major foobar. <laughs> what's that, Danny? This time it's not Moff's fault. It's somebody. It's the IT guy's fault. So I'm, not saying, it, I'm, I'm not, not saying it's the Moffat's fault. Yeah, no, no, I'm okay, saying no, it. Yeah, let, let me put that on record. Nobody in this cast has said it's Moffat's fault. It's not. I know, I know, but there will be somebody that says that. Some, there will be somebody out there that will say it's Moff's fault. How dare you insinuate more in that manner? <laughs> well, I did insinuate that it was it could be a no. All right, hang on. L- LG wants to add something. I think the uh, BBC has got to change your name to I see stupid people. Uh, <laughs> also, while I got Graham here, do you think this was actually a malicious, you know, act as done part of the you know the turf war against the Scottish gang versus the Cockney ninjas? <laughs> the phrase the weak or be malkied sprints to mind <laughs> you know because uh, yeah we've been making jokes about that you know you, you've got you know michelle gomez you've got you yeah. know capaldi you know the, the scottish showrunner and then you've also had you know karen gillen it looks Hell, like you, you know, the you, scots are taking over you, you've even get the new ronnie and big Finch as Tennant. well you know so, yeah the yeah. new ronnie sia ben redmond yeah david tennant yeah, David Tennant, of course. Oh, yeah, his real name, David McDonald. Yeah, yeah. Where's your Yeah. Isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, this might have just been the latest act of violence in a turf war of the Scottish versus the yeah, the Cockney Ninjas. Yeah, Yeah, well, the, the Cockney Ninjas, you know, we'll just rebuild the Adrian's wall and say, stay the fuck out, you know. So, uh, <laughs> oh, Can we make, the, make a, a wall, like, similar to the Burley Wall when it comes to, like, to keep... Oh, whoa, keep whoa, 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 stay there. I'm not freaking Nazi. We just wear kilts. <laughs> <laughs> the Burley War wasn't to keep the Nazis out. Uh, no, but it was to keep the East bloody well repressed while the West yeah, prospered. Exactly, nothing to do with the Nazis. Yeah, and, and, so was, say, and I hate to say this, but from a lot of female fans I've talked to, some would say that the Scottish had bigger missiles than the Nazi did. Uh, <laughs> well, we, we now, guys, all, uh, I'm trying to say this. Rest, okay. We were always, guys, we, I'm just going to say this. What? If you refuse to import iron brew from Scotland down to the UK, I will blow Scotland up with missiles that are hidden under points under the Scottish under the Scottish soil. You need to find them first, Nimrod. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I know where the missiles are. Well, your bedroom doesn't count. Oh, great. The NSA is going to get me for this one. <laughs> but, but, Danny, I'll put your mind at ease. Relax. We're not going independent. Um, Jesus. Are you sure uh, this is not a House of Cards podcast now with all the political talk? Uh, no, 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 no. I said if you... No, I'm not saying anything about the independence. I said if you're not going to transport iron brew and oil to us, I will blow you up. I'm not bothered about independence. Yeah, yeah, well, you said down from Scotland to the UK, which implies that Scotland isn't in the UK, which it still is. No, I meant, I said, exactly. I meant England. I meant England. Okay. Well, well and, I'm Wales, if, you, but no. if you don't get Iron Brew in Wales, that's my real problem. Tell your, your grocery stores to fucking <laughs> take the stuff, man, you know? <laughs> well, right, right. I'm just saying, if, you, if the oil doesn't start, if this oil stops coming to, the, to England, you know what's going to happen. 
<laughs> I see that now. War breaks out over an iron brew embargo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and, 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 and the words of my fellow citizen Fuck it, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys uh, we've been rambling on a bit now now we've gone on the missile launches on Scotland um, <laughs> I'm looking at the only yeah. one <laughs> so do, are, we, are we now awaiting the next leakage of the next lot of um, scripts now that's the main I, question I what, honestly what, don't what, think though I, I'm really thinking they're not going to be that stupid uh, so, like I said somebody lost their job over this maybe more than one you know, I'm not kidding. Somebody is out there right now printing up their resume with their fingers and their toes crossed. <laughs> pink slip, just don't let Capaldi near me. Give me the pink slip, just don't let Capaldi near me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> please, please, <laughs> not, not the eyebrows. <laughs> Those eyebrows, though. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys, uh, anyone else want to hop in with us before I bring it to a close? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, all right, then uh, we'll just go ahead and declare this one. I'm going to strike the gavel. Let's go around and get final thoughts and farewells from everybody. Let's start with the Fez man and go the other way around this time. Yeah, well, um, congratulations to whoever did this. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you an medal soon. Okay, really? Harry? Thanks for inviting me. See, all I got to say is whoever did this and what happened to him is going to be a message to anybody else who might think about doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Philip. Um, whoever leaked this, thank you for my bedtime reading material. <laughs> <I'm very happy. laughs> the same this is not bathroom reading. I've still, I, I've still got another month <laughs> off of work, and I know sooner or later I'm gonna probably read them. You know. Okay, Alex. Uh, the only pleasure left for you is death, and death is very. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Well, I'm just glad I didn't have to face the wrath of them off. Never mind them off. I mean, what have they been capaldi? Oh, that's yeah, that's true. <laughs> He's going to erase you from Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Doctor Who at 50. Oh, God. Uh, crazy day for this. You know, it's, it's a shame it came out, you know, but like you said, someone's going to lose their job and I'm glad it's not me. Matter of fact, I can just imagine the BBC's press room right now. It must be like a scene from the thick of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can, I, can, I just, can I just quickly ask? Do you know oh, how, oh, time. Do you know, how we're supposed, do you know how we're supposed to have some sort of um, trailers going on next weekend, rumor-wise? Do you think that will probably go ahead now or not now, considering what's happened? I don't think they'll cut them, because then they'll be seen as an act of retribution. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, that's and fair. Enough. Yeah. I don't think they want to come out of this looking like the bad guys. Right now they're playing the victim, which, by the way, in the way they are. And yeah, they are. Yeah, of course. So, you know, I think they're going to milk that for all they can get. Okay, Nightwing? Um, I'm just going to say that I'm not going to be stupid and release a missile, missile launch codes like the people leaked the five scripts. Okay. And of course, <laughs> Graham? What the fuck were you just talking about there, Danny? Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway um, yeah. Um, what can I say to, to the person that leaked it? Uh, enjoy your stint on unemployment, you jacked up fucker. And, uh, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you did. Good night to you. Good night, Washington. Oh, don't worry. He'll, he'll, he'll get a job for HBO. Break, oh, hold it. Breaking news. I just literally got this right off of one of the websites. Yep. There is a set of gallows being route, rolled into Trafalgar yeah. Square. Only the noose is scrotum sized. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 yeah. <laughs> Talk that's about that. That's going to be a load of bollocks, then, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Here's my final thought on the matter. Oh, you go ahead, Graham, finish. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I've had my rant for the day. I apologize if any kiddies are listening. My final thought on the matter is this. It's not going to deter me from watching. It's definitely not. I am still going to enjoy this these episodes as much as I would have, you know, even if I'd never heard of this whole mess. 
Mm -hmm. Even if I do read those scripts, I'm you know I still have to see Capaldi's performance. I still have to see Jenna's performance. I still have to see Jenna naked. Oh, I mean, sorry, Michelle Gomez's performance. <laughs> Did I have a Freudian slip? Hang on. <laughs> here, here, though. Here, here. I still have to see Jenna in the jeans. You know, no. <laughs> like, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's nothing without the acting <laughs> performances. It is okay. You've been handed you've been handed the heart of the matter, but you've not been handed the soul of it. Exactly. Is, That's the one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, ice packs help for swelling. <laughs> he's going. To, he's going to need men a safety cup when that's over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we've all had our say on Leak Gate. I'm going to go ahead and bring this session to a close. Everyone, enjoy the rest of your evening. Take care, Tata, and have a good one.